Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Anna Juline and I'm the author of the Glory MC series, the Moonrise Beach series, and the new Heartbreaker series. So I am going to be planning in my memory planner this week and the kit that I'm using this week is called Magic Kingdom. This is a Disney theme kit. I've always wanted to do a Disney theme kit in my shop. Never had a chance, but finally did this year. So I'm really excited about it. This week was my sister's birthday and I thought that I would use this magical kit for this week. I have added two different types of overlays on top from Rose Colored Days. This one is the Silver Hollow Confetti. And then this one here is a special collab that she did, um, which has the drip and then also the stars and moon. My sister is really into astrology and the whole zodiac thing. So I thought that I would integrate those two elements together. The reason why I'm choosing a Disney kit is because her name is Ariel after the Little Mermaid. So um, I did choose that name for her when I was seven years old. And so uh, she reminds me a lot of Disney whenever I think about her. So that's why I'm using this kit. So I have the full kit here and I will briefly show it to you right now. I did add the date numbers there on top. I really like the pastel tones of this kit. You do get that pop of blue though, which I think is very beautiful. So again, that is the full kit. And then I did pull the deco as well to go with it. So that's what that looks like. And then I'm gonna be using this little script here off of the small monthly sheet. So here is last week and I did do a strawberry theme week which I think turned out so cute. I love the strawberry red in the kit. I think it turned out so beautifully. So if you like strawberries and kind of like pinks and greens, I think you would definitely enjoy this kit that is available in my shop now. And as always, I'm using these printable inserts from my shop, which you guys can also use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. And that's applicable to the printables, the tote bags, the pouches, and also the stickers in my shop. So I'm just gonna grab my Hobonichi Weeks here. This is what I use to kind of help me plan. This is what I have been using to help me do my memory spreads in here. It kind of tells me what exactly happened because sometimes I do forget. Um, I did do a Hobonichi Weeks plan with me this week. So if you guys missed it, definitely check it out. Um, a lot of you guys really enjoyed it. So um, it definitely makes me uh, want to do more because I absolutely love the um, format of the Hobonichi Weeks kits in my shop. Very functional, very cute, and I do love using stickers in all of my Hobonichi planners. So it is a bright and sunny day today, so I decided to film today, which is actually Sunday. Normally I film on Saturday, but yesterday it was really dark and rainy, so I thought that it wouldn't be good to film um, it might be too dark, but hopefully it's not too bright this time. Um, I do have my lights on, but sometimes the sun goes in and out a little bit. So as I mentioned, this week was my sister's birthday. I only have one sibling, so I do always try to do something special whenever it's her birthday. And so, yeah, we just kept it pretty chill because that's actually what she wanted this year. Um, she didn't want a huge fancy dinner like we normally do. Um, so she actually chose what she wanted to eat and that's what we ordered. And it seemed like she had a great day with the family. So hopefully she enjoyed it. This week I also did two new releases in the shop. So on Monday, I released the Flower Market Collection, which you guys have probably seen me uh, use already in my planner. And then also we had a new product release on Friday. A lot of you guys have been messaging me asking if I would do physical vellum in the shop. Previously, I did digital um, papers that you can 
purchase and then download yourself, print it out yourself on vellum, or you can use it on paper, cardstock, whatever you want to make dashboards, um, covers for your Hobonichi planners and things like that. Um, but because several of you asked for physical vellum to be added to the shop, that's what I did. I released 12 designs. Six of them were floral designs and then the other six were this um, kind of like neutral uh, boho slash celestial theme. So if you guys missed that new release video, I would check it out on my channel. When I shared the reveal on Instagram, it seemed like a lot of you guys really, really loved it. Um, I got a lot of great feedback on the design. So they are available now. So if you wanted the vellum to use in your planners or in your journals, but don't have access to a printer, you can now purchase them in the shop. They are full size sheets of vellum, so 8.5 by 11. However, due to shipping, they are folded. So just keep that in mind. Um, I didn't want to ship them out as like a large sheet because the shipping cost would go up and I didn't think it was worth it just for a sheet of vellum. I don't know if you guys would buy multiple of them. So um, because this is the first release, I did it that way where it is folded. Hopefully you guys will still be able to use it. I know a lot of you guys um, are in smaller planners like rings, even the Hobonichi, so it'll all work for that. The only size that the folded sheet wouldn't fit is this size, which is the A5 wide. So if you guys are in the A5 wide and want your vellum unfolded, do let me know. I can probably arrange a special uh, shipment for that. All right, so I'm gonna add the checkbox here. And I love the whole like background of this. It's so pretty, very celestial. So I love it. And I'm just going to add more headers in. This week I actually remembered to put my other headers in. Sometimes I do forget. But I love this kit. I think it's so fun. I love the colors and this whole Disney theme. It definitely reminds me of my little sister. So I'm going to add this little donut of the Mickey head up here and we'll pop the May script down as well. And then for this one, let's see, maybe I'll do the Crocs. And then for that one, I'll just put in her name and write that it was her birthday. So this is what my base is looking like so far. I'm gonna start to fill in the sidebar and we'll get into the day by day now. So as I mentioned, I'm just going to be writing in her name here, which is Ariel, just like the Little Mermaid. I just wanted to mark in that we had to prepare for my sister's birthday. And then I also had to design a new collection called Rachel Floral. I'm really excited about this collection because I have started to make the floral collections once again. This is something that I used to do uh, maybe like two years ago when I first opened up my shop. Um, I did larger journaling kits, four pages, and they were all like floral themed. So um, I'm gonna go back to making a few of those. I'm also making some monthly kits as well. So all of those new things are coming to the shop. We have a lot of new things coming. So if you guys use my monthly kit, which I know several of you do, um, we have new ones coming out. And then we also are going to be having the full journaling kits back in the shop. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, if you guys don't know, um, these names that I use to name my kits in my shop are actually the heroines from my books. So um, if you have read my books, then maybe you are familiar with a few of them already, but that is just a little behind the scenes knowledge for you guys. So anyways, 
on to Monday. I did have a renewal to do, so I did get up early in the morning to do that. And I'm just using that little bookish girl sticker from Teddy's Plans Co. The design script and this coffee cup is from my shop. I had to start designing the new collection. And then after that, I did go outside and work on my garden. So this gardening script is from my shop and also the girl is from Teddy's Plans Co. I had to put up listings because we did have new releases go up in the shop. So for listings, I'm gonna use this computer sticker that is from Paper Crown Planner. I have two more things that I need to mark in and that is that I got a lot of journaling supplies come in the mail. So I'm going to be using this little Happy Mail Girl. That's from Paper Bits Co. And then I'll use this Paper Echoes Cat's Head to mark in the new release that we had in the shop. Like I mentioned, it was the Flower Market Collection. I've been really into journaling again. I started journaling again in my Passport TN, which is actually right here. This is one of the new covers that I got. It is the limited edition Starbucks Traveler's Notebook. And I did have it customized by BK to make it into like a wallet. So this is going to be my on the go journal and planner. So I'm really excited about that. I'll do a whole video on it in case you guys are interested. So let's move on to Tuesday, which was my sister's actual birthday. So I'm going in with a Coffee Monsters Co. character to mark that in. I did also have a work event this day, so let's mark it in with a large pink box. So for work, I'm going to use another Bookish Girl sticker from Teddy's Plans Co. Alright, so after that, I'm going to mark in that I did print and cut. And then I did have to ship out orders, so that goes through Chit Chat. So I will mark that in here. So for printing and cutting, I'm using a Teddy's Plans Co. sticker. For Chit Chats, I'm going to use another um, Happy Mail sticker. I think we'll use this one from Paper Echoes. Um, I'm also going to mark in filming and then I did have a video go up on my channel, so let's mark that in too. Hopefully I will have enough room here at the bottom. So for filming, I have a Mr. and Mrs. Mint character and the film script is from my shop. And then I have these pens from my shop. That is to mark that my Twisby unboxing went up. So there we have it. That's everything for Tuesday. Let's move on to Wednesday. I did have um, one of my books anniversary on this day. So I will mark that in again using the same sticker that I have been using throughout these bread from Teddy's Plans Co. I always like to mark in these anniversaries just for myself. Um, and then I did do some editing and then I did do some laundry. So let's use a scallop box maybe for laundry. So for laundry, since the sticker already has a laundry script from Paper Crown Planner, I will use that. And then for editing, I have these headphones. This is also from my shop. So I will use the edit script. And then I had a load of listings to do. So let me mark that in. Actually, I think we'll use blue. We haven't used blue yet. So for listings, I'm just going to use this computer sticker from Paper Crown Planner. Lastly, I did do Hobonichi Weeks Plan With Me, which a lot of you guys seem to enjoy. So I think I will do more of them. I love my Hobonichi. It's been working really well for me. I use it every single week. So I'm going to use this sticker. It's from Teddy's Plants Co. That is a custom that she did for me. So here is what the first half of the week is looking like so far. I love the hollow, really pretty. Okay, so now let's move on to the second half here. So starting with Thursday, I didn't have any events, but I did have to make a few reels for some new releases that was coming to my shop. 
So I'm just going to use this little bow that I have left over from Very Cute Designs. I do need to purchase some new character stickers. I'm running low on um, filming stickers and then also um, like sunbathing stickers. So if you know any shops that do that style of stickers, let me know. Anyways, I'm going to mark in some design time. So those two stickers are available in my shop. And then I did cook and I did more sunbathing this day. So for cooking, I'm gonna use this bow icon that is from my shop. And for sunbathing, I'm actually going to be using this sticker here. That's from Van Sticky, it says personal space. I just needed a time out during the day just to kind of relax and unload. Things were getting pretty crazy in the shop. I had a lot of orders come in and so um, it can get a little bit overwhelming sometimes, especially because I'm doing a lot of the things alone. However, I do really appreciate it whenever you guys make an order. So thank you guys so, so much. At the bottom here, I am going to mark in that my BDS A5 setup went up in the shop. I'm going to use this sticker right here. Um, this is from... 15 Prill, or no, it's from Whimsical Cat actually. So if you guys wanna see how I use my A5 work business planner, definitely check out that video. I don't often share that planner, so it's a great opportunity for you to see my system in there as it is something that I do keep more private. So I have everything down for Thursday on to Friday. So Friday was a really, really great day for Happy Mail. I actually got um, four huge packages. The post lady um, made a joke when she arrived. She said, I come bearing packages and I thought that was really, really cute. Um, my post lady is very nice. She always hand delivers my packages because she knows that I get a lot of them. So I'm just going to put some boxes down and I will kind of go through all the happy mail that I received as I put down all of these stickers. But I did film in the morning so the scripts are from my shop and that sticker is from Paper Echoes and then I did do some designing as well. I'm going to mark in my favorite TV show so I'm using a running sticker that is from my shop. I did get this little Starbucks Baumkuchen customized TN. This is my journal at the moment. I can kind of show you how I've been using it. Really, really cute. I like that small size. So I got that. I did get an A5 Julio cover in the aubergine. That is for my Hobonichi cousin. And then I did get a Cat's Resto Co. order and some Ferris Wheel Press inks as well. So for the inks, I will put that Coffee Monsters Co. sticker down there. And I'm also going to mark in the new release, which was for the vellum, like I said. So I'm glad that you guys have been really loving that. I want to use some of the blue towards the bottom just because I feel like I've been using it a little too much at the top. But we'll switch it up a little. So on Saturday, I did do a little bit of gardening in the morning. So I'm gonna mark that here at the top. And then I did also work on my new journal. So that was this little guy, like I mentioned, I have been liking journaling in a smaller size just because it does not put so much pressure on me. So I'm actually going to use a few of these stickers these are from paper shire just to mark it in this one is actually from the deco sheet so i'm gonna mark in filming and then i said journaling right so i do have a journaling script here and then let's grab this little sticker i think this is from van sticky to mark that in the other thing that i want to mark is that i did have a amazon delivery and at the bottom here, I'm going to mark in Ferris Wheel Press once again. That is for my little unboxing video that I uploaded on this day. I want to mark in my Julio 
So I moved into that and then also same with my TN. So I'm going to be using a couple of these bow icons. These are from my shop. All right, so that is everything for Saturday. Let's move into Sunday. So Sunday, I did have to edit the plan with me video that I had filmed. So we'll use this sticker from Paper Echoes. This edit script is from my shop. Um, I did also have to cook. So we'll use this sticker from Mr. and Mrs. Mint. And then I did also watch um, a Psalm anime. So I'm going to mark that in here as well. This sticker is from Paper K. And then of course I am going to mark in here that the Plan With Me went live on my channel. So that sticker again is from my shop as is this script here. So there we go. That is everything that happened this week. I'm going to pop this back in my planner now and we can see the finished spread. So there you go. That is what my spread looks like back in my planner. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, if you guys are interested in the Magic Kingdom collection, you guys can find it now in my shop. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off when purchasing from my shop. See you guys in the next video. Bye guys.